Hey everyone, how's it going? If you're new to my channel, my name's Samantha and I go by Thrifty on a Dime on all my social media platforms. I am here at my storage unit today to pull just a few more items that I want to liquidate and go sell to Style Encore and Play-Dohs. I also have some items that recently came from a Thread Up mystery box that I'm not gonna take the time to sell. So I have about six or seven bags ready. So I wanted to go back and count. It is six bags total, but there is an extra bag of just accessories that I've already sold to Style Encore. So I'll be taking those directly to Plato's Closet. Now I always start at Style Encore first because they always pay more per item than um, Plato's Closet does. But I mean, there's a few brands that do sell for higher amounts at Plato's, such as American Eagle and Victoria's Secret, like the spell out pink stuff does do really well there. But again, I always start at Style Encore and then I go take the stuff to Plato's if I have enough time and if uh, Style didn't pretty much buy everything. <laughs> so I'm gonna take you guys along with me and show you what sells. I also have my little helper with me because she is on Christmas break. So she's gonna be playing the Switch and just tagging along with me. Here's an example of stuff that was probably a bad buy that I will be just taking directly to Style Encore. Um, I purchased these a while back on sale at Plato's Closet and they just have not moved even though they're basically like new. So I'm gonna be pulling all these Keds and selling to them. I'll probably keep the Converse to sell myself still. All right guys, I'm at the gas station and I figured I'd just do a short little clip onto here. A lot of people don't take into account the drive time as well as gas and stuff like that. It does cost to go here. So it's about 45 minutes, sometimes an hour from my home, depending on traffic. So then that's like an hour and a half total drive time um, and gas that I spend that needs to be added into the expenses. So I usually take two to three bags depending on how heavy. I didn't have these loaded down like I normally do, so I was able to get three at a time. Now I'm just headed in. It's too bad they don't have an automatic door though. That does suck. Look how organized they are though. I totally wish I could get my online store organized like this. And there's my little girl. <laughs> Sometimes we do scope the store out, but today we just went ahead and went thrifting instead. All right, guys, I am back to do the results with you. I know I'm wearing something different. I wasn't able to get quite to that video for you. I did have to get my 16-month-old um, from daycare when I got back to town. So this is a separate day, but that doesn't make the knowledge different. So what I made at Style was $167 and 92 cents on 39 items. So basically I got about $4.30 per item that I sold to them and pretty much every single item I got for a dollar or less. Some items were actually items that I had um, in inventory and I just pulled because I was ready to get rid of them. And then you kind of see what's in the background here. This is three items that I purchased from them um, to resell on my Poshmark closet. So let me go ahead and share what these items are real quick and then I'll do the breakdown. So these are just some cute leather heels by John Fluvog, I think is how you pronounce their name, but they only had them priced at 25. I knew with my coupon, I could get them for 20 because I've sold so many. I have points for days with them to use as 20% off coupon. So yeah, these retail for a very good amount. I'll kind of put a little picture on the screen here for you. So this is an example of something that is not, um, is definitely priced up. So I am paying 20 bucks per shoe. Like that's a big investment if they don't sell, but I know they're gonna sell. Like they're new, they're super cute, super trendy. I just never heard the brand. I got the neon yellow pair the last time with them, so I was really excited to find the orange pair. So yeah, I'll share a screenshot of each shoe and what I can possibly make on those. But this is an example of something that I will personally go to their store, sell to them, and you know purchase something to resell myself because they couldn't price it up, either due to that area, they didn't have a whole lot of John Fluvog, Fluvog stuff come in, so they didn't really know how to price it. So yay for me, all you have to do is run comps when you're in there and they don't care. So take your phone out, run comps, see if you're going to make money on it. The main thing is making sure like you don't just 
see brands like Free People and you purchase it for 18. Um, Cause yeah, it's fun to find those brands, but that isn't something that I would personally pick up for 18. Uh, now, if they were having clearance and I could get it for a buck, okay, I'll get it then. But yeah, back to what I made. So I made 167.92 on 39 items. Again, averaging out to a little over four dollars and thirty cents per item. Um, and then what I did is go ahead and take it to Plato's. I honestly was expecting a little bit better from Plato's, but they only took they took 20 25 items for 41 and some change. I am doing this in my head just because it was cash, so they didn't actually um, I didn't get a, a receipt with them. But yeah, they purchased lots of scrunchies that I had bought wholesale. And so that really took the amount down for how many, how much per item I got there. But they took about eight items that I only paid a dollar or less for. And they priced those pretty high. So, I mean, it was a good amount. I just feel like I wasted my time even bringing in. Because I had six Ikea, well no, five. Because um, Style took an entire bag. So I had about five not so full Ikea bags that I took inside. And sometimes you do waste your time. I feel like you have to get to Plato's Closet earlier in the day because later in the day, it's typically students or high school students and they just don't take very much. <laughs> so I didn't have much success at Plato's. And this wasn't a huge dollar a day compared to what I normally make at Style Encore. But I mean, I was happy because these right here are going to make me a profit too. So not only did I make money by selling on the spot, but I was able to find some stuff that I can list online and make some money. As well as I have another YouTube video I'm going to make for you guys sharing what I found thrifting while Style Encore was going through my items. Because it does take them a little bit to A, go through all the items. Then they literally have to enter each item um, individually. So they have to type in the brand, they have to type in the size, and then they have to kind of play around sometimes with the prices. So while they were going through my stuff, I ended up finding some stuff to resell, and I want to share that in another video with you guys. So if you'd like me to do any more of these Play-Dohs and Style Encore videos, um, please let me know in the comments below. I do have some videos I'm going to be releasing where I share a breakdown of what exactly I'm taking. And then I'm only going to take those items that I show in the videos to Play-Dohs and Style one day for you guys and do a follow-up video to show you what, I, what sold, what didn't sell, and how much I made on specifically those that I showed in the video. So be sure you follow along, subscribe if you're not, and thank you all so much for watching.